What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hellestoke Garage. First things first, I'd like to say uh, thank you very much for everyone that uh, watches the videos, subscribes, clicks like. I really appreciate it. And I get uh, a lot of good comments, you know, people saying that they like the videos, they think they're funny, ask a lot of good questions. And I answer everything, so uh, you got a question, go ahead and shoot it to me. I'll answer as soon as I get it. Gorgeous day, about 70 degrees right now. So I figure I get out and do a little moto vlog and a review on the Corbin solo seat. If I could kind of backtrack to when I first, you know, decided on Corbin. Uh, there's some things, you know, I thought were pretty simple and some things that kind of sucked. Like, um, their website is, is laid out nice. It's easy to use. Uh, you know, you can pretty much, if you know where to navigate to, you can figure out all the different colors of the leather and materials that you can use and the patterns. Um, it's all a matter of just finding that on the website. And, you know, depending on what screen you use, you know, if it's going to be true or not to the color you want to pick. So, basically, I... I had questions, so I, you know, there's a, it's not really email, you ask Corbin a question, you send in your question, you know, through the website. So I send a question about, uh, when I order the seat, how do I choose diamond stitching? How do I choose the pattern of stitching? You know, because none of that is on the order form. It's basically, you know, the material you want to use, the color. You know the size is if you want welts or no welts, studs or no studs. Um, but it says it doesn't say anything about stitching. So if you order online, I don't know if it, you're just going to get what's popular, what they feel like making that day. I don't know. So I sent in the question. Uh, I never got a response back. So I thought, okay, this is typical. Um, so I let it go, you know, I went on some forums, I asked some people, and they said, you know, you know, I kind of got what I got, and I was like, that's just stupid. So I called Corbin up, I got a female on the phone, and I asked her about the stitching, she said, yeah, just in the notes, just kind of put, you know, the type of stitching you'd like to have, and some other details of how you'd like to have the seat. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, they could have just put that on the website. So, uh, a little time went by. Because, I mean, it's it's expensive to get these seats. So, a little time went by. I kept kicking it around, looking at different seats, different options, thinking, should I just keep my stock seat instead of paying $1,000? And then I went back to the website, and I just kind of built myself a little order form, and... Um, so then I, you know, I thought, okay, I see this material, it's a black bomber jacket. That looks like it'd be pretty cool, but would it? I don't know. And then I saw somewhere on the site where you can request a sample. So I went to the website again and I sent a message and I requested three different swatches of material. Well, nobody ever answered and I never got them in the mail. So, basically what I'm saying is, you try to do anything through the website, and it it's just not going to happen. You just won't get an answer. But when I called to order the seat, uh, representative, uh, it was a guy, I wish I could remember his name, but it was a guy, and he was really friendly, he was patient, because I'm like, you know what, man, I think I want the black bomber jacket for the top material, uh, but what do you think? I mean, you've seen it. 
And he said, well, it's a little bit lighter than what the website shows it to be. And I said, well, I don't want it to be gray. I want this shit to be black on black. And so he was pretty patient as I kicked around some ideas. So got the order in and yeah, everything went smooth. And they said it'd be in in about three weeks and three weeks it came. And then you watch that other video and you can pretty much see me unwrapping the seats and talking about them. So let's fast forward to now. So got some miles on the seat, not as many as I thought I'd have, but uh, but wow, what a big difference. I, I guess the best way to explain it is if, if you were to just sit on, on a rock, I mean, if you just sit on a rock and ride around town on a rock, I mean, that's how the stock seat felt to me. It, it was incredibly uncomfortable. Um, I, I, to the point where I, I just couldn't do it. I didn't enjoy riding. I was like, oh my God, I can't sit on this fucking seat anymore. Um, but now with the Corbin seat, it, it's like if you just, fuck man, just sit your ass in a beanbag chair. I mean, not talking about as soft as a beanbag chair. I'm talking about the way a beanbag chair contours your ass. That's how it feels. I mean, it's just, it cradles your ass. It still has some hard spots to it, which I hope go away in time because I have, you know, a specific question about an area that is pretty hard on, you know, the back of my ass, which is, uh, where the hardware is mounted. Um, for the backrest, I mean, I know there's a steel plate in there, but I'm just wondering, is that gonna soften up? Is that area gonna get softer? Um, I hope it does. I mean, that's the only spot I can really feel. It's like if you were sitting in that beanbag chair and there was a golf ball towards your of your tailbone you know what I'm saying that's kind of what it feels like but uh, you know they say 2,000 miles of breaking the seat so we'll give it some time so what happened was you know I had this question about the seat and I kept thinking okay should not nah, because with Corbin apparently you can send it back in for one um, free adjustment I guess they'll they'll take and shave it back or they'll contour it a little bit if you just tell because what happened was when I ordered it when I called them and ordered it I probably should have told them how tall I am my weight and all that stuff but I didn't we didn't even discuss that which I thought is pretty important um, I guess you can send it to Corbin and get one free adjustment done uh, so I don't know. My, I think they're going to want you to wait that 2,000 miles though, to see if it breaks in. I mean, they're not just going to let me send it in right now and be like, hey, there's a lump in the back. Um, but I don't know. That's, that's the one issue I have. Other than that, I mean, the seat is incredible. It's just night and day from the stock seat to this seat. It definitely don't have any regrets in, in this purchase. I know it's just going to get softer. And it's going to contour to my body. I mean, you just got to give it time. big difference is with the stock seat every time you give it a lot of throttle you felt like you would slide back but the Corbin seat it, it you just feel like you know you got that wall right there and there's, you don't slide at all and plus the leather it's like almost a softer material
also got to put on the passenger seat and uh, passenger backrest. I think if I could go, if I could go back, I wouldn't get the hardware installed in the solo seat. I emailed uh, the guy that I bought the seat from when I called in. I emailed him and I asked him about, you know, you think it'll get softer? I got that lump back there and I haven't gotten an answer back, so. I don't know. As far as communication, you want to communicate with Corbin, you better fucking just call him. Because you're not going to get an answer on email. I don't see it happening. It seems like with the Corbin seat, I don't need to even think about changing out the shocks. I don't see a need for it. I mean, I don't feel the bumps in the road like I used to. Basically what we got, we got the gorgeous Corbin seat, and that looks hot. It just looks so good compared to that stock seat. But my issue is this area here, like right here, I mean that's where the hardware goes in, this piece of steel. So right here, it's really hard in this area. The outsides are soft. So if I was you and you didn't need that backrest, I would get it without that backrest. That's for sure. Because that is a hard spot. But you know, maybe it'll soften up. I mean, this whole seat is just soft, like a big pillow, and the fit is so perfect. I mean, it's amazing how, how nice that fits. So, would I recommend a Corbin seat for the Indian Scout Bobber? Hell yeah. Night and day, man. I, it just cradles your ass. It cradles your ass. All right, everybody. So let me cut this off. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. And damn, get out there and work on something. I know you got things you want to do, things you want to build, just things you want to tinker with. You've been putting it off. Get out there and do it. Have a good weekend. Son of a bitch!